All right, guys, I've fixed the resolution and I'm back with some actual knowledge. So, some fun facts I've learned. In this build, the max level was actually 25. So any items that you see over that level were never actually equipped by any player. Undead was originally the only playable race in this build, which is why it's the only race with an intro cinematic. However, all of the races have been unlocked to make them playable which makes all of this even more interesting because when this build was live, people were only playing and testing Undead and didn't get to experience the super early implementation of the other races until a later build. This means they never experienced the early versions of Paladins, Druids or Shamans. Hold on a second. Why does turning into a Shaman give her some mad-ass eyebrows? The fuck? because they were locked to undead only. And these are all the instances available in the game. What's super cool is players originally only experienced a fraction of what the game had to offer in this state. Since they were locked to level 25, they could never have gone to Alderman or Sunken Temple in this early build. So a long-term plan for me, after I've seen all the content the original alpha players experienced, I'll boost my level higher and experience the very early versions of the zones and dungeons that no one has ever played through in this state. There's also some things I missed in Ironforge, so we're going to go back and check it out so you guys can see even more secret stuff. So, okay, let's continue with the human and uh, see where we get to. Yeah, I do admit it's better on 4-3. I don't know what I was thinking, really, with playing it on widescreen. Oh, okay, so this quest is here. Unknown reward. It is not known what the reward will be. I'm going to take this food, free food, why not? So you know what, I'm just going to finish Elwyn Forest today. And then I can move on to the other secrets that the Alpha has. The only problem I have with 4-3 is it's such a small box on my monitor. But it's fine, I'll get used to it. Oh, a pouch. Just what I needed. My first bag done with the candles now. I've got to fight my way into this cave to kill Goldtooth. It's going to be tough. I've got to kill the mobs one by one because of how hard the mobs are on the alpha. I mean, he's hitting me for 10. So if he hits me 15 times, I'm pretty much dead. I literally have to eat after every mob. And the regeneration is so bad, I can't wait for my health to regen. I literally have to eat. But I actually like that about this. And I know... Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, I think caves might be bugged on the alpha boys. Yeah, I don't think we can kill Goldtooth because the um, yeah, I mean they just they just you know they they came down for me through the floor. I can't. So we're gonna skip any cave quests, unfortunately, until the caves get fixed. It looks like it's just gonna be um, yeah, it's dead on arrival if I go in there. But if it can't be done, it can't be done. I can't. I can only fight one mob at a time. If I have two mobs or three mobs coming at me, there's no chance. So we'll stick to the quest that I can actually complete. Here we go. Hello, Tommy. Oh, I can't stand us being apart. I have to see her. Here's my unknown reward. Received item unknown reward. Okay. Hello, Morgan. Give me the rockets. Level 7. There we go, guys. There we go. Received... I only get one explosive rocket. Just one. I better make it count, then. All right, talent. I've got 30 talent points. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. I'll do my agility. I'll do stamina as well. I know I need to get more health, for sure. It's hard to... Um, the mobs are quite tough. So now we're going to go and deal with the Murlocs. And we'll move over to the right side of the Elwyn map. And when I've completed all of Elwyn... I'll go and check out Ironforge because I missed something over there. Yeah, it was interesting to find out what the um, the placeholder cube was, like who it was. It's a guy called Shane, and it's so it's called the Shane Cube. And he was their main technical support guy. Thank you to Daily for commenting that on the last video. Oh, what the fuck? Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Bro, if this was on the school computers, I would have played this all day in school. 
This would easily run on all the old Dell computers, man, in the IT lab. Easy. Do you know, I might actually have to go and buy some armor. Because I just feel so weak. I've got like almost five silver, so I should be able to buy some upgrades before I go and kill all these murlocs. Oh yeah, we can't forget gouge. Oh yes. Oh yeah, and professions are in the game, they just aren't coded in yet. So at some point in the future, I'm sure they'll code in the professions and we can try out all the professions in the early state. Okay, so what have we got here? I can buy a shield, right? Four silver though, for 19 armor. Yikes. Four silver for another dagger. Oh, I don't think it's worth it, really. Nicked blade. Is there any point me keeping the linen? If I can't use first aid or anything like that, I may as well sell it, right? So I'll just sell that for the money. And there's no point me keeping the unknown rewards either, because they're never going to be a reward in this build. So I may as well delete that too. Okay, so I need to get some legs and some boots. My legs currently one armor and my boots don't have any, so try and get as much armor as I can. So I'll buy the rough leather boots. That's 14 more armor. And go for the legs as well. So now my armor is 58. And we'll see how much of a difference that makes. There's a lot of comments saying they prefer the old iron forge, but they don't like the great forge in the middle. I 100% agree. I 100% agree. I think. The old version of Ironforge was better with the second level, but they did a greater job with the middle of Ironforge in the newer version of Ironforge, if that makes sense. It would have been really cool for them to... The fuck? Hello? <laughs> Someone dancing with me. I'm a dancer with them. Oh, what is that dance? What the hell was that? Hi. Oh, it says I'm a GM. What is that? Troll Shaman. What the fuck? Triple fireball. Maybe I'll play a shaman. Okay. Okay. Yeah, boys. Um, I think I'm going to play a shaman. Oh, I can't pull them across the water. Okay. Let's go over to it. Oh, that's terrifying noise. I'm not dealing any damage. Okay, these murlocs are bugged. I'm going to have to kill the murlocs on the, on the mainland. I think they're hitting me slightly less. Actually, I don't know, actually. I think it's made no difference. I don't think the armor I bought made any difference. Okay, so I've been talking to Grenda about the comments regarding this not being the true alpha. There is an older build, 034, which was used in the E3 event, but that build has never leaked. So 053, the build that I'm playing on right now, is the oldest WoW version available to date. The only thing we know about older versions are videos and screenshots, so I hope that clears things up. Oh shit, I mean, I'm being ganged on. Shit. Shit. Come on, attack, attack, now's not the time to lag. Kill it, kill the murloc. Kill the murloc, man, eviscerate! Eviscerate! Twelve? Oh my god. What's the drop rate on this crystal kelp? Man, these murlocs are deadly. I'm actually really looking forward to playing the really early versions of the classes that were never actually played in this build. Shaman, Paladin, Druid. Oh yeah, and Hunter. Hunter was a class that wasn't tested either. There we go, first Crystal Kelp Frond. Obviously, as we go along, I'm also learning what was in this build and what wasn't. Yeah, this is all very, very interesting. Someone typed in general chat, Sup Wildcats, Sup Jadvar. Sup, guys. Oh, shit, I'm being ganged on again. I've got to run. When the game's so difficult, you can't kill more than one mob at once. Unless you're a shaman. I mean, that looks pretty OP. And there's a cooldown to eat food. Want to do hogger soon? I'm down to kill hogger, man. Go and kill hogger. Yeah, I think I've got to be level 9 before I kill hogger. Shouldn't take me too long, thinking about it. The question is, what do I use my rocket on? I guess I could save it for Hogger. Okay, one more to go. It would be really cool if we cleared all the dungeons. Seeing like the very early version of Dead Mines, going through all of that, and then that footage will always exist and people will be able to say, oh, look at this old version of Dead Mines. Because all this is lost footage in a way. Like, you can't really find it anywhere. There's so much for us to explore in this build, though. So many secrets, 
so many things people haven't really seen. I'm excited to see it, but I'm also excited to see how you guys respond to it in the comments because I know a lot of you guys haven't seen any of this before. So this will be the first time you actually get to see these things and yeah, I just think it's really interesting not only for me, but for you guys and to read the comments and everything that you guys say. Now, does she disappear? No, it's too early for that. So yeah, if there's anything that you find particularly interesting or something that you really want me to explore or check out, then leave a comment down below. I mean, there's a whole world to explore here and it's gonna take me a little while, I think, to get around it. So if there's anything interesting you think I might miss or not pay attention to, just feel free to leave a comment down below. We've got level nines here, I wanna kind of avoid these. They're gonna be really strong. You don't really want to fight upwards on here because the mobs are already really hard. So if you do come and play on the alpha, it's best to fight mobs around your level and no higher than two levels above you because they will just chomp you to death. But now we're off to kill the princess and all that good stuff. All right, let's all right level nine bear. Look, it hit me for 17, 14, 19, bro. This is ridiculous. Like, if I don't perma-stun it with gouge, I will literally die. I will literally die. It's like a raid boss, man. But I think after playing the game for so long, having that sense of difficulty in the levelling really makes it, like, more appealable to me. Maybe that's why I'm sadistic enough to be playing this. <laughs> but just think how much work went into this as an alpha compared to, like, today's expansions as well. Don't you think it's kind of mad how they made this whole world like bare bones like obviously it wasn't finished but they made this whole world all the races all the classes and that was the alpha and then you look at today's alphas and betas and you're like is this all we're getting <laughs> i know there's usually an enchanting trainer here or oh, hello shane oh knitted stuff all right anything else oh shane is a book Nope, nothing too interesting up here. Alright, so I've got to be careful here, actually. I don't know if I can even do this, to be honest, thinking about it. Princess is quite a tough mob. Does she have the um, the little balls around her on this? Let's find out. Because these mobs are level 9. I can only really kill it by gouge stunning it to death. Oh, the little mobs are there. But do they leash? Been invited. I think this is for the hogger. They want to do hogger. See if it leashes. If these mobs leash, I'm I'm done. Okay, okay, I can gimp this. I think I, I can gimp this with gouge. All right, it's all good. It's all good, boys. I can gimp this with gouge. But if them mobs leashed with princess, this would be impossible. I think maybe, maybe the dev will fix this after I've uploaded this video, <laughs> where the mobs leash. <laughs> If he hits me for 14, I'd definitely be, uh, be fucked. This is a group quest for sure on the alpha. Unless you're a rogue, as you can see. Long bayonet. Oh, that's a good upgrade. That is actually... Yeah, that's like double the... That's double the damage. Yeah, I need that. That'll be really useful. Oh, yeah. Another fun fact I just remembered I've, I was told. Weapon masters were in this build, but they're currently bugged, so they can't be used. Look at the icon for lesser healing potion. Interesting. Okay, let's head up this way. Go get uh, Rolf. Is it Rolf? Rolf's corpse? Rolf's remains? I can't wait to try out the abilities that were removed for Rogue. Like Trip. But holy shit. Look at how hard he's hitting me, man. Leveling is a true challenge on here. The devs were not messing around with the difficulty. What's really funny is how most of these models were like never changed. The bears stand differently. That, look at that Chad. Look at the alpha stance. Look at that. I'm going to die. Oh, oh, fuck it. I'm too busy paying attention to how the bear is standing with his massive ass shoulders. Like, massive arms. And he just looks so much cooler. And then I die. And now I've got to run all the way back over. And, okay, res sick is five minutes. So it'll take me five minutes to run back anyway. I hope the guys in the party don't notice I've died. How embarrassing. No, but seriously, like, the bear looks so much cooler with how it was standing. Like, its arms look huge, got butch shoulders. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining it, but to me, it just looks a lot cooler. If I'm completely delusional, then just leave a comment down below. Anyone else think bears look cooler? 
Like, they stand cooler. I don't know how to explain it. They probably think I'm fucking weird. Fuck up Red Stick still. These guys probably think I'm a fucking freak. But right, gouge it, run away. Or just run. Alright, you're not going to gouge it, I'll just run. Maybe it's all in my head. Maybe, maybe it really is all in my head. I don't, I don't know. It looks like he's just standing in such a better stance. I don't... Shit, why am I fighting? He's hitting me 34. 30, what am I doing? Run, run. Oh, my God. That was close. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm I'm such an idiot. Imagine how hard these would hit a mage or, like, a warlock. Like, they're cloth armor, right? They have even less armor than me. Maybe they hit them for, like, 22, and they have less health because they're caster. Holy shit. Playing a caster on this, I can't. Maybe I'll play a caster just to see how difficult it really is to survive against these mobs. Because this shit is tough. Oh, another pouch. Hell yeah. Now I've got two pouches. That's what I want to see. I might have to make a warrior to tank dead mines or something. Or a healer. I don't know. I'm going to probably level up all the classes anyway to try them. So, fuck it. If I don't do dead mines on the rogue, it'll be on one of the other characters. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a good day today. Hope you're enjoying the video. And I hope I don't die again. I'm very interested to see what Hogger's going to be like. Oh, I don't know. This one's going to be tough. I don't know if I can even clear all these murlocs to get to it. Oh, this one's going to be tough. Oh, the level 10. Oh, no. Holy shit. Nah, nah. 15. I've got, I got a gouge. I've got a gouge, man. I've got healing potions as well. Where are they? Wait. Oh, no. That's after I've finished that quest. That haven't yet. It's okay. It's okay. One mob down. Right, we just got to clear all these Murlocs out to get to the corpse. And I'll go check out the uh, the camp to get the login quest. Okay, where's the corpse? It's over there, right? Somewhere? I'm so glad that mobs don't chain pull yet. If mobs chain pulled, this would be so hard. I definitely wouldn't have been able to kill Princess. That shit would have been impossible. Imagine I couldn't gimp these mobs with Gouge. I would be dying so often. I feel like I'm cheating. I really do. But hey, look. Blizzard made it like this. What, what, what am I meant to do, right? Not use it? I bet someone just said, yeah, don't use it. But unfortunately, I would die all the time. These mobs are three levels above me. Look at that chest. My first chest on the alpha. Let's see what we get. 30? Come on, come on. 17? Holy fuck. Two more hits and I'm dead, man. Kill it. Kill it. Oh my god, that was close. One more hit, I would have died. Let's uh, loot this shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. I'll be back in a second for that. Go away, go away. Let's see what we get in this chest. Ooh. Minor healing potion. I like the icon for that. Reminds me of Warcraft 3. Journeyman's pants. My first green item. It has plus four health on it. Burnt leather belt. It's an upgrade. Gives me six more armor. I lose seven armor, but I gain four health. I think maybe it's worth. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. I'm equipping these, man. My first green. I'm trying to make my character face forward, but... Okay. My first green. Oh, got purple bits on the side. Okay, got my new belt. There we go. That was actually a good chest. Very useful. Okay, the corpse is there. It's good to loot a chest and actually get some upgrades. Oh, warrior shield. Why is it saying I can't use a shield now? I can. I thought I could use a shield. I'm so confused. Oh fuck! I've got to run. It's too far away. Oh Shane. Oh, it'd be so easy to spot the logs, boys. <laughs> yep. The logs don't have a model yet. It's all about Shane. Look how easy it is to spot all the logs. Oh, I'm getting that quest for right now. It usually takes me like half an hour to find all the logs, man. But now I can just see him a mile away because it's all about Shane. Where's the, the, the quest? The quest isn't in the game yet. Oh, that's such a shame, man. That was such a shame. I would have loved to... Oh, 
It would have been so easy to get them logs, though, yeah? Oh, wait. Yeah, the, the, the horse bit isn't here yet. I mean, the horse breeder's right there, and there are horses, but the stable isn't here. That's how early this was. What do you sell? You do sell mounts at level 40. But people couldn't reach level 40 in this build. So no one actually rode these. Do they even work? That's super interesting though, how these mounts are already in the game. But no one ever used them because you could only reach level 25 in this build. I'm going to check around just in case the quest is somewhere else. Got all the peasants in here. Jay and Kyle. Is that bad guy in here? Oh, no, he's not. Who's that? There's a guy in here that you can kill, right? He's, like, neutral. I forgot what he was called now. Oh, you're in the game. So you want me to kill the Defias. So this is in the game. Taylor, I can't speak to him. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. No logging quest, but we'll keep killing the Murlocs. We'll get a new dagger for that. It's going to be useful. Oh, yeah, when I hit level 8, I'll go and do Hogger, and then I'll come back and do all this, because I think these guys are waiting for me. And I don't want to take the piss. I used to call Malachite Malashite. Fun fact. Oh, fuck. Okay, I, I don't know why I'm running straight in there like that. I've got to use my brain in the alpha. I've got to use my brain. The fuck? What have I done to you? Okay. I didn't expect that. I did not expect to be attacked by a cow. All I was doing was eating, bro. Mobs don't like it when you eat. I guess it adds a sense of danger. Not only can you not regenerate health, you also get attacked when you try to regenerate it. Oh, another minor healing potion. Don't mind if I do, actually. Very useful. Healing potions really matter. I mean, if I could choose to be an alchemist, I'd probably go alchemy on this. Be much better for survival. But then again, I don't know what leatherworking does. Can I make my own really good items on this build? I don't know. I have no clue. Here we go, Rolf. Nope, here we don't go, Rolf. This is a nightmare, man. <laughs> At least they don't follow me for five years and I can just reset them. 28! Oh my god. Bro. You're just chilling, trying to kill a murloc. It just goes, bang, here's 28. Holy shit. Absolutely brutal. And it's only two levels above me. All right, Rolf. Finally got to your corpse. It took me a good while, but I'm here. Level 8, way. Okay, I'll get this last Murloc Finn. Then I'll head over to kill Hogger with the boys. I'm kind of glad that people have come online to do the Hogger, actually. I wouldn't be able to do it. Okay, so I've got confirmation about the horses that I was looking at earlier. Apparently, they do work, but they're very weird. Some of them increase the speed based on your level. So the higher level you are, the faster you go. And others don't increase speed at all. So they were still developing the mount. They weren't at a final conclusion with how the mounts worked in this build. He's given me a special command where I can experience the horse right now. So you guys are probably going to think, oh, you're cheating, you're cheating now because you're going to be running around on a horse. Yeah, I guess I am kind of going to be cheating. But at the same time, you can't experience this horse or this mount without cheating on this build. So because you can only get to level 25, even if you wanted to try and mount it up or save the money to buy the horse, you wouldn't be able to. So we're going to just experience what the horse looked like on this build because no players ever experienced the horses in this build when this build was live. So is this a world exclusive? Oh, who knows? So apparently we type dot cast 458. Oh, look. And now we're on a horse. Okay, it looks kind of cool. So top right, it says summon brown horse mounted speeds mounted movement. Okay, and it's really quite slow. So it's the same as the run speed. But as you can see, they were still developing the horses. This is a very early look at a mounted horse. The earliest look you're probably ever going to get. Because they were still developing them and still working on them. And you couldn't even actually ride them when this build was live. So you can't strafe when you're on a horse. Right click. Oh, there we go. And the horse disappears. That's a cool different animation. Okay, apparently these guys have fought their way into the cave that I said was impossible to fight their way into. And they killed Goldtooth, but the necklace didn't drop. So I'm glad I didn't do that because I would have wasted my time. And oh my god, I need to run. I need to run. 
Don't kill me, please. Bounty on the Murlocs. Long bayonet. Thank God for that. My bag is full. Oh. I've got a lot of stuff in my bags. New dagger. Hell yeah. Wait, can I dual wield? I can't use that. No, I can't. But double damage now. That's going to be really useful. Double the strength. Wait, seven silver for that. Oh, bro, that's a lot of money. I can't wait to return that. Oh, who's this? Yushe. Oh, hi. Ins I can inspect. Cool. Grim Pauldron, level 36. Dark Iron Leather. Tibu's Blazing Longsword. As if that was in the alpha build. Oh my god. Looks fucking cool though. I saw your video and I wanted to let you know that I can show you where the original Deep Run Tram is. It's very different. I need to kill the Hogger first. I can't believe Tibu's is in this build though. That's crazy. So I'm going to run over now. We're going to kill Hogger. And then this guy is going to show me the Deep Run Tram that looks different. Alpha Wow invites you to join Alpha Gamers. Except I've been invited to a guild. That's so nice. Hi. Thanks for the invite. Oh, there's no guild tab. How do you see how many people are in the guild? Slay the Null Hogger. Footman Tunic. Five health and one spirit. There's no armband quest though. Here we go. Our group of alpha gamers. Off to kill the Hogger. Look at that night elf runs. <laughs> Look at the cat form though for Druid. <laughs> what? Get cat form at level 10. And you look like a panther. There's no... Um, Camps made of human skin. Oh, yeah, there is. Over there. There's not as many camps. Three mobs. Shit. They hit for 12 as well. Are these druids chomping. I, I can't even do a bit of damage. Attack. There we go. So weird to see these druids. Okay, where is the hogger? Gruff, swift. What the fuck? What a weird trade panel. He's trading me healing potions. What a nice guy. Thank you. It said trade cancelled. Oh, maybe it's because I didn't have space. So I'll let him keep them. I don't want to be taking things from people. Oh, here we go. Here's Alpha Wow. Where is he? Where is he? Where's big boy Hogger? Is that him? Oh, there he is. It says level 11 plus. There's no elite frame. But I guess, is he still, is he still an elite mob? He must be. He must be. So at this point in the game, there was no elite frame around the portraits. Alright, I'm pulling, boys. I'm pulling. Come on, boys. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. If my character wants to do any damage, any damage at all, any damage, like anything, it takes so long to backstab. Okay, well, that wasn't uh, too hard, but I couldn't loot the... I couldn't loot the claw. Wait, we have to kill it four times. <laughs> in the alpha, I'm sure it was shared, but because it isn't coded in yet, we have to kill it over and over again. <laughs> we killed the Hogger boys. We should be proud. Real proud. Can we roll? <laughs> Slash roll. No, roll isn't in the game yet. Oh, shit. You have to return in Goldshire. My bad. Right, let's run up to Goldshire. You have something to report about the beast? I killed it. Footman Tunic. Here we go. That knoll was giving me a headache the size of Blackrock Spire. Interesting. Very interesting. It's a new tunic now. There we go. Oh, yeah, give me my seven silver. That's a lot of money. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. I can use bucklers, but not shields. Right, okay. Makes sense now. So I'll buy myself a buckler. There we go. And now I've got a shield. Well, technically it's a buckler, as we've been, uh, as we've learned. Dagger looks quite cool. Would you like me to show you the deep run tram now? Sure. Let's find out about the Deep Run Tram, guys. This is hidden information. I'll teleport you if that's okay. Of course. I don't mind being teleported for this. But look at me, boys. I'm looking pretty good, eh? Got myself a new weapon, which is double the damage of my old one. Got myself a nice buckler here. It's definitely weird to be uh, equipping a buckler as a rogue. But I think we're doing pretty well on this character so far. Oh, I've been teleported. Oh, we can't get through. Huh? 
Okay, this is an elevator. Oh. What's this? Oh. 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 I'm gonna. I'm bugged out. I'm bugged out. <laughs> I'm bugged out. Oh no. I'm stuck. I'm stuck behind the gate. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, whoa. So hold on a second. This is the Alpha Deep Run Tram. Bro, this is... This is crazy. And I totally missed this in Iron Forge. There's an alchemy trainer right there. There's a fireworks vendor. This is all that there is. This is crazy. Reminds me of Nomragan. Fireworks. Ten silver. I'm not going to be... Uh... Do you know what? One of you will want me to uh, check out the firework. So I'll spend ten silver on it. I know you're going to want it. Alright, here's an alpha firework. It cost me 10 silver, so I hope you guys really appreciate it. There we go. That was 10 silver down the drain. Can we get up like this? Oh, we can't. Oh. Maybe I can fly? Oh, cool. He teleported me. All right. I'm following it as far as it goes. Bro. Even if it doesn't lead anywhere, this is super interesting. It just shows you how big the old version of Ironforge was. Like, I didn't even know this was here. And apparently, there's another elevator, which takes you into old Ironforge. You know what's currently underneath the new version of Ironforge? Like, this was, this is all here in the alpha. Like, this is massive. The amount of stuff. Crying. What happens if I jump off? Where does it take me? Oh, bro. They had such grand plans. Okay. So I just end up underneath Dunbarai. Okay. Well, I've experienced it. Let's go the other way. <laughs> you saved my life with a teleport. I still can't get over that tea booze, man. Looks fucking cool. You know I had to do it. To know this was all here is just nuts. Like, Ironforge is just humongous in this build. All of this underneath it and how big it is as well. It's just, oh my god, blows my mind. They cut out so much. The other room I want to show you is the original throne room. It's close. So I guess the other side is exactly the same as that side. So we're not missing anything. Both sides are the same and leads to nowhere. So let's go into the elevator again and see where Yushe wants to take me. How cool is it to have these elevators here as well? Like, it's just, it's just huge, man. Okay, back above. And... Oh, I walked straight past this. I came down here to check out the Great Forge, but I didn't look here. If I did, I would have known. Ah. Oh. Right, let's see what else I missed. Yushe's going to take me. It's just over here. Let's see. The original throne room. I ran around the middle. I was like, oh, it's not here. All right, time to go somewhere else. <laughs> but nope, I missed it. How many elevators are in this place? It's bugging out. It's bugging out. Let me off. Ah, uh, yes, look. Old Ironforge. So this was the original throne room. Makes sense now, okay. Oh, there's an NPC here. Senator Baron Redstone. Oh, wow. Look, guys. Here's King Magni. Oh, right, I see now. This makes much more sense. I used to explore down here, but now I actually understand what this room was for. It was literally the throne room. And these are the NPCs that stood here. So if you've ever come down to Old Ironforge and you wondered, I wonder what used to be down here. Well, King Magni himself, along with Brombar the Keymaster, and an advisor, and a senator. So I've already explored all around here. I'm pretty sure all of you guys have as well. Old Ironforge is a very accessible area, if you know how to get down here. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> I'll run down here to show you guys what it's like, but it's just... Uh, it's just this pretty much, all the way down to lava. But isn't it cool how this was once accessible? Like, you were meant to access it. See, this is all it is, and then it's just lava. I think now that's all of Ironforge. I've explored all of it. There's nothing I haven't seen. If there's anything else I might have missed, and you know I've missed it, then leave a comment down below, but I think we've covered it all now. We've seen the Deep Run Tram in the very early alpha state, and we've come down to old Ironforge, which was the King's Throne Room. I mean, I think this is awesome. Thanks for showing me what I missed. What a nice guy. He teleported me back. Thank you. Until next time. Add into my friends list. 
Uh, you, Shay. Level 100 warrior. Oh, look at the early Prowler model. It was just the regular wolf model. And look at me with my shield. I just blocked them. 24. Oh my god. I need to train my abilities. I'm level 8. I keep forgetting to train. Tell you what though, I am much stronger after getting that new dagger. All of my abilities seem to be a lot stronger too. I'm hitting them for 17 with a Sinister Strike now. It's good that when you get a weapon upgrade, you really feel it. And yeah, I didn't use my rocket earlier on the hogger because we just killed it so easily anyway. Oh, Antonio. You haven't got your model yet. Lesser healing potion. I can buy three for one silver each. I think I will. Mace. Braces. Champions Claymore. I'm going to buy your healing potions, mate. Wait. Oh, it's unlimited. I just need the money. Alright. Well, I've bought six. There we go. Increases my chances of survival. It's just so funny to think that by the time this was in alpha, everyone was still playing Warcraft 3, and that was still, like, hot shit. Custom games, campaign, active. Imagine an active Warcraft 3. I know it's hard to imagine nowadays because they killed the game, but... Wow, man. Oh, fuck. Come on. Gouge him. Gouge him. I can use a health potion if I need it. Oh my god, yeah, I'm going to use a health pot. There we go. Simple bands. They're better than what I've got. I can't equip that. Why not? I can't use that. Oh, okay. Can't use it. Level 9. Hell yeah. Some more talent points now. Hmm. Physical prowess. Your health is increased by 20. So you've got increased stamina and you have increased health. I'll train that. Restores 6 health per minute. Is there a dagger thing? Melee finesse. Increases your chance of crit with all melee weapons by 2%. I think I'll train that. Almost cleared out this whole camp. Thoros Lightfingers. He's just sitting there. Is that a rare spawn? Level 11. Oh, he's coming on his own. Oh, thank God for that. How hard does he hit, though? He's got two weapons. Two big swords. No, oh, he's not attacking me. I think he's bugged. I bet you, though, if he could attack me, he would really hurt me. Let's see what he drops. It's 11 copper. Well, let's return these quests now. I believe I have now finished Elwyn Forest. Okay, shirt and sash. Let's equip my new red shirt. There we go. Report to Grian Stout Mantle. Alright, he's sending me to Westfall now. Weather-worn boots. Oh, it's the same amount of armour as I've got currently. Okay, now it's just on to Westfall. So I guess I'll head over there. So I'll just log off in Sentinel Hill, I think. Is old Blanche there? That's the question. Oh, ah, yes, there's old Blanche. Farmer Felbrow. There we go. Interesting hairstyle. It's too far away. Interesting hairstyle indeed. So we've got the pocket watch quest, Westfall Stew. Okay. Oh, the harvest watches look the same. Whoa. What's that hairstyle? Is your hair purple? Interesting. Very interesting. Look at his ears. I can actually get these quests at level 9. I thought this would be too early. Look at the dust devil. Level 18. It looks like an earth elemental. Common mage bloom. Isn't it called mage royal? In uh, in release. Oh, the defiest traitor's here. Hello, Grian. Kill 20 defiest trappers. Okay. And killed the gnolls. So that hasn't changed. Oh, look. There's no inn. Look at how weird it is to see without an inn. It's just an outhouse. That's it. Oh, peasants through the floor. Loads of Shane here. Look at that hairstyle. I'm pretty sure that hairstyle was never made on release. It is so weird about an inn, though. Here's your outhouse. Enjoy. Oh, look at that. Two chairs and a stove. What a random thing. I guess I'll collect the flight path and then log off. Okay, and these griffins are already in the um, in the thing in the. Uh, in there what do you even call this they're in they're just in the thing all right oh yeah binder look at this griffin master thor it's a good name for a griffin master isn't it all right here's the meeting stone 
gonna bind ourselves, Reginald Berry. So now let's make a Night Elf. So we're gonna make a Night Elf Druid. I believe the Night Elf zone was one of the most unfinished zones in this build. Bearing in mind, you could only play an undead when this was live. So even though these races and classes were here, you couldn't access them all. So I'm just gonna call him Barry. All right, here we go. Let's see Teldrassil in all its glory. Here we are. He's quite lonely on his own, isn't he? The meeting stone right there. Young thistle boars look a bit different. Them cats are huge. All right, let's see what the night elf dance looks like. Okay, pretty much unchanged actually. Look at how big these night sabers are. <laughs> like lightning. You look the same, Tarandrella. Look at his hands and his arms. Oh shit, let's look on top of the tree. Okay, so you're just on your own up here. There's loads of Shane down there. There's walking Shanes that we can kill. Look guys, we can kill Shane. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no, Shane's angry. He's very angry. All right, guys, that's all I've got time for today. But if you've enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be back very soon.